very much, the secretary, and thank you everyone for having me here. It's uh, a great pleasure of mine to be here and um, to meet with uh, legends, you know, here. And um, I'll be presenting, um, doing a short presentation um, on today's topic, and um, that is from average to outstanding the path to first class um, academics. So just as we know um, from the title of uh, this webinar, from average to outstanding. So telling you that it is a, like it is a track, it is a process, you know, it's not something that you just wake up suddenly to attain and it starts from the very you. So it's a track, it's a pathway to achieving um, excellence. And if you are not currently there, in fact, I'm sure that's why you, like, you might be here because you are currently on first class or you are not on that first class, but like, just be open-minded today and uh, you see reasons why you, you is a must for you to at attain that first class, you know. So, don't condemn yourself don't feel sad you know it's a process and you can imagine that even as from now so what is first class academics i hope everyone can see my slide okay okay thank you so a first class academics uh is a very dis distinguished you know honor and um it places you on top of your class, like on top of your set, on top of your game, wherever, you know, field academic or whatever that you find yourself. So being a first class academic places you like on top of your class, on top of your set, you know, with like 80% and above. And this depends on your institution. So like where I am now, for you to be a first class, you have to, I think like 94% of that course. And I think, I remember when I was in Nigeria, um, I think something 80% or so. So that places you as a first class academic. And what does this do? Like it's, it makes you to be the leading writer. Like you are the leader, you are definitely the leader, you know of that particular place that you have, whether a class or career or whatever, when you are in first class, you know, in that regard, like you are the leader, it, it places you on top. And just as I've said earlier, that attending first class doesn't just happen suddenly. It doesn't happen over the midnight, you know. It's, it's a working process. It's something that you have to do. It's something that you have to like it is an active track, you know, it's not something that you can, you know, sleep over, but it is very active and is in process. So there's no short, shortcut to excellence. Like, oh, shortcut, yeah. Of course, some do, but there's a difference between all those things and people can tell. And there's no sudden flight to success, you know, it must go through a process. And you don't become it one day, you grow into it. So it should be your decision like it takes a decisive effort you know to becoming you know this first class and why first class why like why is it important yeah we know that it's very important because it's highly distinguished and all that but one reason the top reason is because the bottom is too crowded like you have many people doing the same thing at the same time doing the same thing achieving the same result and you know everything is so crowded and sometimes people are in that category people are even confused you know they don't even know what to do they don't know where to go but when you emerge you know to be at the top, that that sets you at a pinnacle that can never that that can never be forgotten in a GV. So, you, like you have to start thinking like this first class is very very important. I need to emerge, you know. I need to be from like live from zero, right, and become an hero. So from zero to zenith. And also another um, importance of uh, being a first class um, student or first class merchant or something um, is that it gives you this unique intellectual capacity. Like there's a way you think 
and everybody around you knows that there's something upstairs you know it's not all of a sudden fly that i just came up with and also aside that like it gives you foundation a very strong foundation in your career and this leads to improved career progression you know whatever you choose to do wherever you choose to go i mean in anything that you want to do it gives you this speed wherever you do whatever you do and also it gives you access to you know, different um, scholastic uh, programs like scholarship and all that. In fact, there are some programs that specify that first, you must be a first class, you know, candidate or something like that. So having a first class like, give you access to these prestigious opportunities. And also it gives you, you know, open door for grants, networking opportunities and all that, you know, beds of the same feather, right? They, they flock together so when you have that first class or you are working towards it you know it gives you some opportunities that others don't have and also there's a personal satisfaction and confidence that you have you know by having first class or by working towards it you know like it's not it's not it's not a thing of um of course it's a thing of pride you understand but it's not a thing that you know that that you, you you place yourself above others no it's not about that but it brings you this satisfaction and confidence wherever you go like wherever you can travel to congo travel to Benin, travel to togo travel to different places you are confident right because you know that you really work for it and you deserve it and also it gives you a long time relevance like you cannot be wiped out uh in a jiffy like wherever you go that record is always there among your classmates among your uh, colleagues and maybe even at work and all that when when you you know improve yourself you know you emerge to that to that balanced level of being at the top there is this relevance it gives to you you know as a person okay so now we are talking about first class i'm here to like i'm not here to uh, tell you about negative you know whatever about it because people have tram trampled upon first class now like some people pave their way through and all those kind of things but we know that there's a clear difference between this and that right and also so this chart is just telling you that it is very very possible if you are not currently there it is very possible you can see the chart chart that uh the chart is increasing right you can see from uh 19 whatever to uh the 20 15 and 16 you can see and recently i also read like the trend of that first class you know is increasing even to last year i mean 20 uh 23 you know so it's possible for you to achieve that first class wherever you are whether academics whether career wherever you have so how do you start the journey to attaining first class the journey starts with you with your mindset because when you can think of it then you can you can have it anything conceivable is achievable so is of course this uh webinar can you know can inspire you can motivate you right and that's why we are doing this like to motivate you for you to also prepare your mind that you can achieve this thing you know it's achievable right it's achievable so when you conceive it then you can achieve it so i'm going to start with a story of mine uh when i was growing up so i was just an average student like very average you know i'll just go to school eat go home sleep and and that was all you know and i'm from a low income uh background like my parents are you know uh, and i'm a first generation student i always a first generation like you are the first person you know coming up you know imagine to that position in that family or in that set of you know uh in your family so i'm a first generation uh student and uh in nigeria then i don't know uh, I, anyway it was an error erroneous fact you know uh people believe that science students that they are the high flyers that they are top flyers so um other this evening like uh, commercial and all that they are just and that's not true that's very wrong but that was in my you know then so my parents believed that because i was just an average student you know so when i wrote my gss3 exam i i scored very high in um, um um science courses like introductory technology health uh, 
uh, health, uh, science and all that. I don't know what they call those things now. So I scored very high. And despite that, my brain will, I like, know we are not going to allow you to, you know, to go, uh, to, uh, for science. And I was like, um, meanwhile, from childhood, I've always known that I wanted to do science, but they were afraid. They were like, they didn't want to take the risk, this and that. Uh, and I was like, me, I'm going for that science, you know, as young as I was. So school resumed and then they, I took my desk to the science class and my parents removed, they went there, they removed my desk from science class. They took it to, I think, commercial because my mom studied commerce. So they took it to commerce class. And when I got home, I, I became sad. I didn't have dinner. I was just crying. And following day, my parents went with me to school. Like, okay, let's even go with her. So when we got there, then they met with the head of the school and the man said something. It was like, let's give her this opportunity. Let, let, okay, let's take a risk and see what was going to happen. And then my friend, well, they hesitated, but eventually they agreed. And that turned, that became a life-changing experience for me because my mind was made up. I was determined. I was like, okay, I'm going to prove to these people, like to my parents that, yeah, I can do it. And that turned everything around. And since then, I finished secondary school. And when I got to school of air technology, like my perspective changed, you know, for that again. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't remain at this uh, bottom. You know, I kept uh, aiming higher. And eventually, you know, I'm here by the grace of God. I'm, I'm where I am now because I determined that it started from my mind. Nobody pushed me. So at any first class start, you know, with you, with your mindset. All right. So that being said, so what does this start with? How, like, where can you start to attain first class? It begins with clarity about you, about who you are. I knew that this is what I wanted to do, even though I was very young, you know, but I knew that I can do this thing. I love biology. I love science. I love to care for people and stuff like that. I love conservation. I love nature. So I couldn't have gone for something else, you know. So I knew, I knew myself. And later I got to know about my strengths and weaknesses. So you, you have to discover who you are. Like, are you, are you an introvert? Are you an est extrovert? What do you do? Like, who are you? You have to discover that. So as you have gotten admission into the university, whether uh, first degree or second degree or wherever, or as you are taking up a new career, you have to identify your strength, know who you are, right? And after that, then you define why you are there. Why are you there? What do you want? What do you want to achieve from that program? right? Because what you don't see, you cannot become. So you have to see by yourself, like, okay, in that university, I know they might have given you a course that you didn't like, because me too, I applied for medicine and surgery, but thank God they didn't give me. Of course, I was qualified, but I was given plant biology and biotechnology, and I never knew that I could come out with a first class. And when I started, you know, a lot of students came around. We started together, many local champions and all that. But I felt, okay, this program, there's something I can do with it. So you as well, or you are a new student in that school, or maybe you just transferred to another school, or you have taken up a new job or something, or you are a master's student, know why you are in that program. Even if it's just one year, know why you are there, right? And also on this uh, journey to attaining first class, you have to know, how do you go about it? It's not enough for you to identify your purpose in a particular field, but how do you accomplish those things? You have a purpose, you have a goal, but what are the plans? What do you have on ground? Okay, for example, as a new student in the university, or maybe second year or final year, or even a master student or something, do you know the classes that you are going to take? How many classes? How many credits are you taking? right? How many number of weeks? Are they 12? So having those information will help you to, you know, to split your, your plan and to cover everything. You'll be able to know that, okay, this week from Monday to Sunday, I want to achieve this, right? Even you as a career uh, person, like from Sunday to Monday, this is what I want to achieve. So you know all those things. And who is your course advisor? In undergraduate uh, programs, they always assign each uh, degree, like each level, maybe 100 level or something to your course advisor. 
What about your colleagues? Do you know them? Do you know, like all those things, gather those information, right? And after that, so we are looking at the pathway, right? And there's nothing you can achieve in this life without learning. So, and learning entails study. So we want to look at some techniques, you know, um, that can enable you to achieve this first class. Of course, there are many different methods, you know, study method, I can, I can, you know, they are online and there I can come and say, okay, yeah, this method, S3, whatever, blah, 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 and all that. But all these techniques were, are things, are the techniques, you know, that I've been using and that have really been working for me. So I'm going to make it practical. So the first technique that you need as a person or as a, you know, merchant or someone that is, uh, that want to achieve that first class, you know, wherever you are, is to be intentional. Like, that's the first technique. Why are you there? I've said that, you know, so you set clear goals and you start early. So for me, and this is relative to wherever you are, you might be in second uh, year or master's or any program that you have, or maybe your job or something, right? So it's relative to wherever you are. And it is not too late for you to start. Like, don't, of course, we made mistakes in the past, but don't allow your past to overcome your present. And don't allow your past to cheat your future. Your present is very important and you are going somewhere. So now the first thing is that you have to have a clear goal. A clear goal is a set goal. Like what do you want to achieve by the end of that semester? So what I usually do is that I sit down at the beginning of the semester, like, okay, I look into the semester. What do I want to achieve? Is it a GPA of uh, 5.0 out of 5, you imagine, you think about it from the beginning of the semester. And now you have uh, resumed now, you know, into your job, your career, your school, and wherever, you know, sit down. What do you want to achieve? Have a clear identity, a clear direction. Of course, it might not really be awesome. It might not be clear, but like you sit down, what am I doing in this program? What do I want to achieve? So me, I usually sit down. In fact, I have diary like, okay, the, in this course course uh one two three four five six seven i want to have a a a plus a plus a plus so for me my slogan my slogan then was is either a or a i didn't have anything for b mm -mm. i it's either a or a so that was my decision so and then so when you make that set that goal right you go to your department or maybe in that environment you ask questions from past students, those that have taken that course before, those that have been working in that organization before, you make your background information, you make your findings, you know, about that place. And don't be like a local champion, like, yeah, I know it all. You know, I remember those days when I um, got into the University of Benin, like I had many colleagues, you know, like different people, they came from, you know, different, me, you know, I have a very humble background. So I was like, yeah, me, I'm here to make impact, you know, but that student with DA raising shoulders, yeah, we came from social school, we came from premium, yeah, that's, that's okay, but ask questions from them, they will be able to tell you, and that's what I usually do, like my advisor in, in uh, University of Ibadan, I asked the previous student, the previous told, student told me, they said nobody ever had A in, in his course, in his uh, uh, project, nobody, I said, okay, so then I began to study what happened, what did they do and how that. Then you have to be confident because nobody can push you into this thing. You have to build that confidence in yourself. The fact that you are there in that place, the fact that you are there in that class, in that university, in that career, in that business, wherever you are, shows that you can do it. So you can do it. That's why you are there. And also you move with people, with friends that can help you to achieve your goals. So you choose your friends. Don't allow your friends to choose you. It's very important. So you make a survey. For me, when I got into university, uh, among the whatever, the local champions and all that, I was able to identify some scholars, you know, and we were five, just five in that group. And I was the only female among them. So choose your friends wisely that will help you to achieve that goal and also be courteous, be well-mannered, you know, like be presentable, be respectful, right? That adds to your wisdom wherever you are. All right. So uh, the second technique is that you have to create a consistent study schedule. So it's part of your plan. So know your core syllabus. Okay, like in physiology, for example, 
how many how many topics are there right and what are the lecturers expectation for me here like teaching my student i usually tell them i said at the beginning of the, of the semester the first class and that's why the first class is very important don't miss the first class for anything so i usually tell them this is what i expect this is your participation in class 30 percent your you know uh blah blah 30 some lecturers will say you must and they won't even tell you but the the more you answer questions i'm not saying you should do that but like just identify the lecturer's expectations and also your boss you know wherever you are and allocate time to each topic like okay monday to friday this is what i want to focus in in parasitology i want to do this i want to do that right allocate time so that time will not slip off you right and know when to study and assimilate more identify yourself so Chris said man know that i say right you have to know yourself for me i'm a morning person i don't like studying in the night i remember those days when i was in uniben like if you are from uniben you understand what i'm saying like uniben is known for night jacking night reading so my first one month in the school like i used it to go for night class because it was like yeah everybody going for night class and <laughs> the first night class i went i went there with my friend then we gisted and after gisting then we we slept off and after sleeping then by the time we woke up like we we're already exhausted and i got home and i slept on a on a plank you know all this wooden this thing tables in the university and getting home, I was tired and ah, people be like, ah, ethical, you know, jacometer and all that. So don't be a copycat. Understand yourself, be stable, right? And also, uh, another thing is that be focused. So take organized note in class. I can see a first class student, right? I understand that the brain is there, but you also have to take some note, right? That you can take on later, you know, to read. So go class go to class early i'm not saying you should go one hour before you know because sometimes staying at the back and create an hour for you sometimes the people at the back you know they don't concentrate so most times i will like in a very big or sometimes i might go to the very front and stand beside my lecturer or sit beside the professor and so that i'll be able to hear what the person is saying and go with a right mindset mindset like you've taken a new job or you are you are you want to start a master's don't allow your past right to cheat you of the present it's like the present is like a is like, is a blank check that you have right so you have the opportunity now to write anything you want to write there right so don't give in to any trade i remember then my hod then was like yeah this particular course the best is going to be c you cannot have a hey and hey in this course and i i laughed <laughs> i laughed why because I, I, I already you know got my like my mind ready that okay this day i'm going to get this and eventually i got an a you know in that course and even later he came to find out like who are you and stuff like that right i had the right mindset so always have the right mindset when you are going to class even if some lecturer threatening you like this and that blah 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 and also always read the previous note before you attend the next class is very important so that same way that you attended that lecture and uh, uh, ensure that you read that you study those things ensure that you master them you don't cram anyway i'll still get to that point so sometimes they can say impromptu test or presentation or something i've seen a case that my lecturer then he just said uh, go to class oh yeah presentation i was uh, presentation from where and then he grouped us into he placed us into groups and they chose me as the, as the group leader i think that i talk about the mitochondria and the Krebs cycle so what if i didn't read earlier right it would have just happened i would just be there and you know being disgraced and also you have to pay attention to details attention to details is very very important when you are somewhere take note and pay attention to whatever the lecturer is saying and also develop right approach to note taking you have to have your note your notes you have headings and sub heading that will allow you to be able to read and review right you won't know the importance of this until when the exam is very close sometimes they will take my note and then take pictures snap it and all that so you you know you you do that keep your note uh in track and also keep track of your study material because they can steal it you know where anytime all right so uh another thing is that be organized apart from keeping your note being organized you yourself you have to be organized in between lectures like you have lecture eight to ten 
and you are free from 11 to 12. So what do you do between that 11 to 12, right? So is it that you launch or you go find somewhere to go to go and read to study? That's what I used to do then. So I'll find somewhere to go because I knew that I didn't have it. I, extra time you know so because i was into different leadership positions and also you read and follow instructions about the course especially in the exam or some lecturers they will hide something so we read instruction that can cut like not following instruction can can cost you of a whole 30 percent that's very right yeah it happened in those days when i was in school do not to me so and also plan yourself don't read when you are don't do things when you are when when you are drained right so you keep up your energy like if you are a morning person you keep up your energy you you, you channel your energy into studying into do, doing something reasonable not doing house chores so for me in those days like um journalist library that was the you know general library in university of Benin. so 8 a.m on saturday i'm already in front of journalists why because i knew that if i didn't get there by 8 a.m then friends and some people they'll come and meet me at home you know and then the day is already wasted so i knew i didn't have time to waste in fact they even named me after john harris right because i knew when to get there so don't joke with your time use your maximize your energy don't then when you are done with achieving your goal for that day then you can go into doing house chores like washing and all that but don't wash when your energy is optimum you, you when it's maximum so that's that and also um you have to read to understand right so and that's why you have to start from the very day of your class so whether uh you've made some mistakes in the past but now you are you are just starting it is never too late you can start from now and also you broaden your uh, your horizon by strategic reading you don't just read because uh, you want why are you reading what are the points that you really want to you know highlight in that reading right so don't just feed on the crumbs your lecturer is bringing your lecturer is a is a woman being like you too right they also study to bring that so they are bringing you what they are fed upon right so you you are picking the crumbs and that won't be enough it won't be all enough so make your own research do your own reading and don't only read to pass and also read to understand read to become a legend in that class of field in that in that in that career wherever you are read to understand you you are going to become a legend the more you read and also find your cave find your reading cave it can be in your room it could be in the library it could be in the common anywhere that you believe that yeah you can concentrate well and have optimum understanding so go for that place and also don't run from foreign textbooks i remember those days like i'll go to the library i'll pick big textbook because i wanted to uh, to broaden my horizon and sometimes some lecturers ask you questions that they even even really delve into so it depends on you it depends on what you have read right so and these foreign textbooks they are very easy to comprehend so don't run away from them very easy and also use tech to study i remember those days i didn't have access to android phone so i only had a small nokia phone that my mom gave to me that though it was able to grab very tiny phone like that that was what i used to study to get a plus in my plant biochemistry and that was the all they call it almighty pbb in those days that even people that, that have left school they still came back to write that course right to tell you how difficult it was but i wrote it like i mean biochemistry if like biochemistry today you understand what i'm saying i got an a plus i was the best student you know in that course so use the tech is the the your phone or your tab or your laptop is not for facebook in fact face your book like anyway i'll still talk about that later and also okay so be smart enough to build learning techniques what are the learning techniques you summarize your notes before exam. If you don't know what is there, you can summarize it. So you have to read it, right? And then you teach someone else before exam. This thing really helped me in those days. Like it will just come naturally when they know that you know what you are doing. They will come, oh, teach me some missed classes, you know, and all that. And the more you teach them, the more you learn, the more they, they stick, you know, to you. So don't be afraid to teach. And also don't be, 
don't be selfish to keep what you have learned to yourself you know share that information with others before exam so by the time you have taught like four people five people five students in your class or wherever the thing is already in your brain is already mad. so ensure you teach someone else before exam and also participate in group discussion if you are a master student here or you are a final year or you are taught the year please engage in group discussion as i said earlier that i was able to identify some scholars in my class uh, who were five five scholars in my group and uh, <laughs> wonderful you know we came out with first class though in degrees right in different degrees so why am i saying you identify them right so you pack like in my final year in university of Benin, like people usually tell you that the load of final year is more this and that you can achieve more yeah we understand but in my final year i had a complete gpa 5.0 out of 5.0 in my final year i had seminar which involved literature review. I had my own project and these things, they are different supervisors and my supervisors will always need my attention. So participate in group D is very important. You can learn from others because no man is an island. So set questions from your note by yourself. I used to do this by the time you have read, right? You set question, what, what question can this letter, you can, you can also change it in other way. Like what question can this person ask me, right? In this exam. So by the time you set those questions, you've already mastered anything and they not nothing can escape your questions because you already know okay if they ask this, this is what i'll do and also practice past questions right that's why i say you should um interact with your with your uh, senior colleagues with past students get past questions and study them and also learn and master your skills relevant to your program of study of course the four walls of the university is there right but what have you gained in that walls of university what exactly did you gain what skills did you learn right that are relevant to your program of study because they will be needed outside the school and also the, the next uh, learning technique is that you are curious learning is about curiosity so you ask for help early like now maybe you are discovering some things don't be afraid to ask questions ask your lecturer questions the professors ask them questions maybe during or after classes you can go and meet them they will be willing to teach you you know and also seek clarity if you don't understand something seek clarity and you stand on the shoulders of jaya and that's very important like we have mentors here you know dr wazani dr um uh professor adetunji uh Charles, uh, like different people different mentors that we have and i'm sure you have joined the age uh whatsapp group so stand on the shoulders of jaya and where i am presently is because i was able to i was able to maximize you know my my network with with giant you know and that's why i'm where i am today many of them recommended me you know and when i when i got here when i read the letters of recommendation i was crying i was crying because i was like wow so these people wrote this fantastic and they didn't lie you know but i was like wow so they were taking note of this thing so stand on the shoulders of giant so another thing is that um be extraordinary okay you have identified your strength and your weaknesses this is what i can do this is what this is who i am i can read it you identify those things then you have a plan right so i usually write my grade a a plus and whatever i place it on the wall beside me so that i will be seeing it every morning right so that by the end of the week or month i can say okay i'm so so level and and if you are not doing your best then you can go back right so to ensure that you are still on track and also you revise regularly that is very very important even before you go to make that presentation on your proposal or whatever you revise whatever you are doing you revise your note right and that makes you a an excellent uh person so also we cannot on um uh uh underestimate this you have to practice self-care some student when it's time for exam they don't sleep me i sleep i sleep very well in the night and in the morning my brain is active and everything is ready in fact you'll be able to concentrate on your exam questions when they ask you you'll be able to answer so ensure you maintain good eating habit please eat well don't starve yourself and also dress responsibly this is very important because when they are counting the towel, you know, all the uh, irregular misbehaviors and other in your department or wherever, they can identify you that, oh, this person. So that's part of the 
pathway that's part of the track you know into be because you are shown you are dressed the way you should be addressed right and also you engage in ld extra curricular activities like seminar when there are opportunities for volunteer i mean things that are very germane to your career to your progress conferences internship please pursue them they are very important they make up they build your cv and also you participate in community services what are those community services like in your department in your class like the harvest course or something like something that can benefit that you can contribute to humanity you know in your class they have a project you can be the, the project lead and when they are making you the project team the team lead please don't don't draw back don't say um, i can't speak you can speak you know you can speak i know you can you might be I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert but i you know you take advantage of those wonderful um opportunities and finally in this study techniques you have to be confident you have to believe in yourself and in your support system so you are who you believe you are nobody will believe for you right you believe you are who you believe you are you are who who you think you are so and for me i believe in myself and i also have a support system my support system is god so that is very very important among other study techniques so um so before we finish this webinar so i'm going to talk about some pitfalls that you have to avoid to achieve for you to achieve first class academies so one of the pitfall is background limits what do i mean by that like limiting like being limited by your background i want you to know that being a first class um merchant or a first class student or whatever does not based on your on your background you can come from a from a low income um family from a low income background yet you are at the top it doesn't have anything to do and sometimes people talk about money yeah i know that money is important but when people see your vision when they know what you carry when they know that you have something upstairs they are going to support you here are my master's program in university of ibadan you know it came from different support from different places you know like from governors from my guardian from everybody like from my fellowship you know from different places I got the support because they knew that yeah she's focused she's a visionary she knows what she's doing right and 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 she's very bright and all that and also grant opportunities there are many grant opportunities that we specify that you have to pay first class or something or second class take note of those things you don't allow your back your background rather to put your back on the ground you are very special you are very unique there is a why you are where you are so money cannot be your problem only be determined that's very important so don't don't look at you you might be a first generation student in fact maybe in your in your own community you are the first person to to study masters or to to uh, to graduate from school or something right so don't don't look at those things always look forward right you know that you have a great future and you know that you have the ability to do it so don't look at your background and like if not that no no so that's very important be determined and the second thing is that you are in school or you are where you are don't be indifferent to learning like i don't care attitude uh, uh, i i don't want to go to class today uh that presentation i don't want to do it you are please avoid that and for because you cannot be what you don't value if you don't value learning you cannot be it so avoid indifference to learning like i don't care attitude or going late to classes or going late to exam or and stuff like that always be smart and be interested be fascinating uh, you know wherever you find yourself and also procrastination and perfectionism procrastination is shifting things till later right and that later you already have something that you want to do in that later right so it's like there there, there is a uh what there, there's a um there's a conflict in between schedule like you're supposed to have done that in around 8 a.m and now you are like hey, let me you, so in that case you are struggling with things to achieve right so and that can lead to a failure that can lead to where you don't want and also perfectionism perfectionism i is a is a this one must be perfect i must be in the right mood before i before i can study i must be in the right mood before i can go for that master's that phd form i must be i must I, I, if i i must have a like a seven figures in my account no 
things like success don't start that way. You have to start with you, with who you are. And where there is a will, there is a way. That's what they usually say. So when you have that mindset that this is what I want to do, definitely you become a don't wait till when everything is so rosy and you know big and robust. No, and also another thing is distractions. Of course, we are in life. You know, different dif distractions will come. Your friends, right? Financial challenges or emotional or social or stuff like that. Don't allow distractions to, to place you in the, in, the, in, the, in the pit of failure. Pick those distractions, pick them as brick and use them to build mansions. Those great people that you are seeing today, they didn't just emerge there. They face so many challenges and yet, they are where they are today, right? What if they've given uh, 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 excuses like, uh, and that one happened, and that one happened. Use your challenges. Use them to build mansions, right? So when life throws stuff at you, pick it and use it to build something so that your story will be very sweet, you know, in the future. And also self-doubt, imposter syndrome. This happens to everybody. Like, ah, like, eh, eh, yeah, this one. In fact, the, the fact that you are where you are, shows that you can do it but you have to identify your uniqueness you are very very unique there's something unique about you that no other person has so and the fact that you are here deserve shows that you deserve to be here shows that you deserve to be they employed you as social person it shows that you are capable you are there as a student in medicine you are there as a student in sociology as a student in anthropology as a student in agricultural something as a student in psychology you are you you deserve to be where you are so don't look down on yourself right it's very important don't allow imposter syndrome to 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 wipe you off relevance you are very important and carry yourself that way because you are very unique another thing is competitive mindset <laughs> uh competitive mindset is a great killer like eh, yeah eh, i am that person we are in a race no for me, I don't see uh, my I, I don't see anybody else as my competitor. I see myself and I try to be better than myself each day. When you think about yourself that you want to be the best version of yourself, right? You are not using anybody as your limit, right? So like in those days, I one of my colleagues will be like, Yeah, I want to read, I want to jack so that I'm I can beat this person and I'm like, you are just killing yourself, right? You you have your own uniqueness. You have already made up your mind. You have your own makeup, you know, everything. You are complete, right? So you don't need to compete with anybody, right? Just run your race and be, try to be the best version of yourself. Like try to be better than the your ye yesterday, right? So that's very, very important. And another thing is comparison with others. Some will be like, eh, my parents did not study. So what about you? Your parents did not go to school because they didn't have money. This you have you have something powerful with you, right? That your parents didn't have. And hey, my friend, my cousin, forget all those things, right? People usually say that all fingers are not equal, but yours shouldn't be the smallest, right? So don't compare yourself with others. You are unique in your own way. Appreciate who you are, right? And also overload of activities. Like uh, you are, you, I, I don't know how it is now in Nigeria, but like just pick the courses that you want. As a master student, know what you are doing. And let me mention this here, right? As a master student or as an undergraduate, ensure you know what you are doing. Ensure you know like the idea, you have idea about your thesis. So even when you, maybe you are in 200 level, start thinking, what can I even do in my final year? As a master student, you are resuming now. Don't wait for your advisor to come and suggest. Of course they suggest, right? But know what you want to do. Know why you are there. And even just, just read, just study, you know, have an idea, have something at the back of your mind. that Okay, this is what I want to do. And later it can change, but it places you on a very safe track, right? That others don't have. So don't be the jack of all three. Yeah, combining sociology with a... Uh, uh parasitology and you know jamming them know what you want to do don't overwhelm yourself with credit low you can always have time you know to do all that and that's why you have to plan so plan from the beginning of the semester it's very important each semester always have a goal this is what you want to do this is what you want to achieve right and also lateness to classes and other important sometimes lecturer give important information at the beginning of the class 
because you know that sometimes some students they will come late or it could even be an exam right so don't go late to exam don't say yeah it's um 12 o'clock now so i can get there by 11 55 be around maybe like 10 minutes and don't go somewhere else to go and read because i've done that before that i went to a class to go and read that my friend ah, it was already late before we got it so i had to struggle with chemistry is it 111 or 101 in the exam so don't go late to classes don't go late to exam or don't go late to uh, important events so be punctual and finally on these cheating and other actions you know against disciplinary actions is very dangerous so when you are cheating it tells you that you are not confident of yourself right so that's why you have to plan early start early right don't allow cheating to take to rob you of your relevance right so cheating and all those things they don't take anyone anywhere in fact that doesn't represent you well as a first class uh, person right so and finally in this age of technology and AI is here so you don't even have any excuse like oh eh, it's because of my background is take away those excuses like they won't take you anywhere so you have technology with you so use that technology for your advantage why because nobody wants to be the friend of a failure so success attract many friends face your book now like is it whatsapp and order those things can come later maybe when you are tired when you wake up in the day or maybe at your maximum you know a, a, a time at, i mean when you have that energy focus on your plan focus on your goal and then maybe later you can chat you know but don't allow chatting don't allow social media to drive you you drive the social media if people could make it you know when there was no social media or maybe there was less information right so now that is everything when you go to youtube you can just type algorithm or you can type chemical equilibrium or type something everything is there right so take make use of that um uh those devices is very important so use the tech for your advantage not for your destruction and finally yeah i'm going to see you at the top and uh thank you uh very much um uh, for listening thank you